Okay, welcome to Innovision FM, Innovision TV. And today we're in Civic Center Park. And I uh, wanted to remind you that uh, I am the only uh, blind TV producer in Colorado. Started in 1990. And if you want to find out more about that and my humble beginnings, you can go to Amazon.com and look up my book, Six Shades of of blindness which will be released December 7th so uh, do a pre-order give us a review and we will greatly appreciate that and uh, I will know when you give a review and I will know when you have uh, purchased the book because it will give me an indication so just don't give me a thumbs up and no action behind your thumbs up because what is it big brother is watching right also, you can listen to our radio station, uh, Innovision FM. We're starting to pick up some traction in the last 30 days. We had uh, a lot of listeners, and we could use more listeners on our Innovision FM radio station. So go over there, listen to the radio station, give us some feedback concerning our radio station. And we are looking for DJs that are committed to doing at least two hours. And it could be on any day, any time, just two hours. Just remember, we do Christian contemporary music. So if you want to do music that have uh, Cardi B words in it, um, it's probably not the place for you to be. All right? Uh, okay. Uh, okay, anyway. Uh, also, our concert that was planned on October the 10th, we're probably going to reschedule that for November the, the 7th. As the Washington um, mayor said, she would not open the schools until... November 6th because the virus will know that the that the that uh, attacking people and giving them the virus before November 6th uh, uh, is like really high but after the 6th you can send your kids back to school and everything will be okay according to the Washington mayor as far as in Denver on the 27th of September, uh, we're going to have the Broncos play. And we know that at the Vanderbilt, where they were having the, the car racing, and they had the peaceful uh, protest to stand up for God, the flag, and the United States, that in uh, Emperor Polis' eyes, that was very bad. But on September 27th, we can have almost 6,000 people watch the Broncos in the stadium. And of course, to our Emperor Polis, that's great. And of course, to uh, Michael B. Hancock, which if you can see the city, as we're walking through the city, in Five Points, uh, that li the African Library, that's representative of Michael B. Hancock. And oh, tonight uh, on knusradio.com at seven o'clock, you can see a film that Mayor Hancock, Polis, and other left wing, wing politicians didn't want to be produced uh, by an um, uh, announcer named Tubbs. So uh, watch Denver in Decay, Denver in Decay. Uh, and thank everybody for supporting that with your money. And I hope that you, as you supported them with your money and helped this film to be made, that you would support InterVision with your cash money as well. Go to paypal.me slash InterVision Denver. That's paypal slash me uh, dot me slash Intervision Denver and show your support for our nonprofit as well. Now, um, I did say, like, uh, before I get to our topic, that our concert, we're going to be moving it from the 10th of October to November 7th. Uh, and it's going to, most likely, we're going to stream it live. And uh, we're, we're asking for you to, to buy tickets for that now. Uh, we're going to be, we have a... Uh, Facebook um, welcome guest book and 
and uh, we're going to be sending out announcements about that but you can go to our website intervisionfm.com uh, or intervisionrecords.org to buy your tickets there and help support our, our nonprofit as well also we um, are looking to raise uh, that night uh, around five five thousand to ten thousand and you might say well which one is it do you want five thousand or you want ten thousand well, if we get up to ten thousand and it goes, and we get up to five thousand and it goes over ten thousand, hey, every little bit helps to uh, to work our nonprofit. And we're also looking for artists uh, that, if you want to find out how to uh, get money that's on the table that you might be missing out on, we can show you how to get your royalties. We can show you um, uh, ways of uh, increasing your audience. Uh, it's, it's, we have a thing called a, a 30, 30 day challenge where we will show you how to get a thousand um, a thousand fans oh, no I think it, no I'm sorry 100 fans to 200 fans up to a thousand fans within 30 days so it's a, it's a 30 day challenge and we have a video that we'll, we'll, we'll share with you and uh, we can, we can uh, get you on the road now the topic is do you Give a man or a woman, oh I, I, oh, I forgot, woman is now spelled W-O-M-X-N. So it used to be like for a, a lady that's not married, you say M-S-S or M-I-S-S. -S. Then it was, if you're a married woman, it was M-R-S. Now because of the politically correct languages, women, because a, a, a woman is not a real woman, a woman could have a beard and, and, and all that and think that it's a woman, but, <laughs> and compete with biologic, biological women. And in this politically correct world, we must call them a W-O-M, X N. Now, if you think this is craziness, or well, you must be on the on the right or a conservative thinker, if you think that's normal, well, <laughs> get behind Michael B. Hancock and Jared Polis because uh, you're you're one of a kind, right? <laughs> okay. Anyway, so um, do you teach a person? how to fish or do you just give them a fish well after passing five points and all the homelessness and down here in Civic Center Park and it took us a while to find a, a, a nice place to sit down and, and relax um, <laughs> we uh, were just having a little discussion and uh, my philosophy is is okay I know in the 30s the, the new deal started the New Deal started, and with that New Deal, they uh, said, we're going to help people out with Social Security because a lot of people that, a lot of people, you know, they weren't saving up for their retirement. Some people were, were out of work, and so the president, FDR, at that time said, we will help you out by developing Social Security. And then, you know, also they, they said, well, if you're blind, we'll also help you out with, with that because, you know, it's not your fault that you're blind, you know, so we will support your blindness and, and, and things of that sort. And then, this is something that you don't know about. It was called something called the, the Shepherd Act, which means that in federal buildings, we will give you, if you're a blind person, priority to own a, 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 a restaurant or um, uh, now these... Um, those candy machines, whatever food machines, will give you priority to 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 have those. So that that was was started, and it was by this this blind lawyer lawyer. And I had his name before, but I lost it because um, he realized, you know, that, well, well, maybe blind people weren't as fortunate as his, he was to get as educated as he was, and so maybe they need a little help. So fast forward years later. I know some blind people that they know they're going to get this check when they uh, finish school. 
So that cuts out the motivation for some of them to, to work. That cuts out the motivation for them to say, well, let me, let me get something better than this. So therefore, in the blind community, is 70% unemployment in the uh, blind community. And I think that has something to do with, okay, there's some blind people that have multiple disabilities. Maybe they're blind, have mental challenges. Uh, maybe they have other, other challenges. So maybe we could take them out of that equation of, of being gainfully employed. But for the rest of them, that just says that this is a factor in demotivating them and having them, instead of being motivated to work, they're now, uh, the incentive is, well, let's just get the, the, the monthly check and uh, live in a Section 8 house and never strive for anything more, All right? So, I, so because I know the blind condition more, I'm, I'm talking uh, in specifics of that because, you know, um, and then we have blind people that are very motivated, like Sweet G, who's going to be doing our concert on November the 7th. Uh, very motivated. I mean, she's so Tupperware. She's, uh, she's done many entrepreneur things while, you know, she, she's developing her music. She realized, okay, the music is not bringing in the money now, so I need to do other things to support myself, support my family, my, my grandkids, and, and all that kind of stuff. So, Sweet G, you know, hey, shout out to you. We also have a, a, a DJ who will be doing the concert well. I mean, she does like, she recognized that, okay, I have this, this disability, but I'm not going to let it stop me. I'm going to generate money. I'm going to sell my songs and do things like that. So if you need, uh, like, a song written, um, uh, inbox me if you're a musician, and I'll connect you with uh, DJ, um, who uh, is a very prolific songwriter. And she could write it to the style uh, that uh, that you want, uh, but uh, but she will charge you for it. And uh, so you know, have a little bank on you, so so you can purchase the song, and she'll make it to your your liking, the style, and put a track behind it and everything like that, and and uh, and uh, go forward from there. And then um, so so you see, like we have disabled people that don't want to just sit home, wash soap operas or wash whatever. I watch uh, those uh, stupid women on The View who don't know anything about civics, who don't, who don't know anything about really anything. I mean, I, I look at them and I say, man, I hope th the audience is not as stupid as you. Uh, because some of the things they say, <laughs> some of the things they say uh, is, and one show I, I should do, I, I'll, I'll show you some of what I mean by stupid things. Oh. I'll tell you one. When uh, Whoopi Goldberg says, you know, stay out of my 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 uh, private parts, right? But she wants us to pay for her killing uh, of her kids and other kids, right? So you stay out of my tax dollars and I'll stay out of your private parts. So, you know, that's just a little bit of a stupidness, you know. Uh, uh, that you hear from The View. But if you watch The View, then you, you know those kind of stupid things. But getting back to teaching a man or a woman how, how to fish, and I'm not going to use those politically correct words for a woman uh, because, you know, guys who like to dress up as women, uh, they want to be included in the female agenda. Uh, I'm just not going to do that. So we're going to call it, we're going to call them men and women. So if, if, that, if that triggers you, you got to go to your safe room, go to your safe room, be a snowflake, and uh, um, uh, call up your psychiatrist and, and, and hope you get over, over the triggering words that I'm using. And if you disagree, oh, oh if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, also, we need subscribers. We need about 80, 88 more subscribers so we can monetize our station and uh, start getting uh, some advertising for this and start getting uh, paid for this, some donations through this. So we ask that you, if you're watching it on YouTube, subscribe to our station. If you're watching it on Facebook, uh, please share this. 
and okay so 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 I sort of like laid out like you know how you can give a person uh, a fish oh let me lay out this other thing I know my I uh, see Michael B Hancock wants to raise 41 million dollars to provide free homes for the homeless right so new house new shower new house new, new room with no incentive to stop using the drugs no incentive to stop drinking or drinking as much no incentive to wash their ass no incentive just free apartment for the homeless this is Michael, <coughs> Michael, Han, Han, Michael B. Hancock plan and he wants it to come out of your working ass money to give the homeless free apartments 21 million dollars to make this apartment complex so we can house the unhoused uh, in a location soon to be announced okay so he wants to give a fish to the homeless he doesn't want to motivate them to stop using drugs he doesn't want to motivate them to get mental health uh, care he doesn't want to motivate them to uh, uh, slow down or get off the alcohol he wants to give them free housing and that will solve the problem well I want to remind you that Hickenlooper in 2006 said he wanted to end homelessness he wanted the, the road home and he raised 14 million dollars and that started the influx of what you see now in downtown Denver's Civic Center that started the influx it didn't happen overnight and where that 14 million dollars went nobody knows but it was free let's end the homelessness but we don't know where that money went now Michael B Hancock a Democrat as well as Hickenlooper now he he says let's 14 million that's cool let's raise 41 million and uh, because this is his last term in office what do you think that some of that or most of that 41 million dollars is gonna go to his crony friends to him as as maybe he's trying to he, he would try to seek to be the next mayor of Colorado but I hope you you guys that had businesses that the Democrats wrecked your businesses I hope you remember this and when it's up for election for um, uh, Emperor Polis I hope you remember two years from now and you'll vote him out and vote in someone who really cares about Colorado rather than these these uh, democratic socialist Marxist haters of America and Denver I hope you will think about your choice that you made when you uh, handed the city over to these people that said we won't give we won't teach a man how to fish we'll just give them a free fish free fish for everybody and we went by this place and you know it said like free food free uh, meals you know Monday Wednesday and Friday if this church over here thank God you know churches that will do stuff like that because you know maybe people need help on the way up right but if you just keep giving them free stuff you never get them in a, in a position to to earn their own fish and before I leave I want to tell you one more story I've been hearing like all my life about these stories about rich people or people they, they, they get motivated to help the poor people in Africa right and it was one program where they said we're gonna supply free shoes to people in Africa so they raised up a lot of money and they went to their their friends that had like these shoe stores in America and they bought up all these shoes and then they flew over to, to Africa and they said hey hey African little black boy little black girl hey we got free shoes for you but then the, it was a store it was a black store owner down there African that had a shoe store and he's looking out the window and says wait a minute 
I have a shoe store here, but you're bringing in all these free shoes. What's gonna happen to my business? I'm gonna go out of business because you're giving these people free shoes. You're not coming into my shop and, and swiping your credit card and saying, and saying to the people, um, we're gonna help your business. And then we're gonna look around and if anybody else wants to start up a shoe store, we're gonna ask them, do you wanna start up a, 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 a shoe store as well? We'll teach you how to be an entrepreneur. If you don't have any knowledge in that, we'll teach you how about accounting. Uh, we'll, 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 um, we'll finance it, build you like a little store or open up a storefront for you um, and then give you enough money so you can hire someone and hire people from your village or from your area to work here and then you know you'll pay back uh, the low the, 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 the loan at a lower lower rate and you will become self-sufficient but instead these people brought down free shoes and put people that were in that community that has shoe stores out of business. So rich people, people that have money, instead of just giving people free stuff, teach them how to fish. Just don't give them a fish. Anyway, uh, don't forget Six Shades of Blindness, Amazon, go get a pre-order of that book and uh, uh, do get a ticket for our concert. Even though it says, it may say the 10th, of October, we're going to change it to October 7th. So get your tickets so those tickets will be recognized then uh, so you can uh, support our nonprofit, uh, intervisionfm.com. Listen to our station and give us some feedback about this. And let's see. Thank you for watching, Rosalind Owens, Bob Mickinson. Thank you for watching. And there's probably a few other people, few other people. Sorry, Stevens. Thank you for watching. And uh, God bless. And we'll see you the next time here on Intervision FM, Intervision TV.